Hey guys and welcome to a new tutorial series on how to create your own server and combine that with Unity. So um, what are we going to do in this tutorial series? So um, basically we are creating a powerful server uh, which you can use as an MMORPG server, which you can use as a server like an FPS game um, and all kinds of online stuff. Um, yeah, um, we are going into every topic um, which has to do with online play. Like we are creating an inventory, we are saving data, we are loading data, we make trading, we can attack monsters, NPC movement, player movement, and everything you can imagine. Um, we are going into every single part of it and we are creating together a game or basically a server um, which handles everything. So we are using MySQL as a database and yeah, um, my tutorial videos will go like this. So basically um, I'm doing some um, off-screen coding and then I will um, record a video to explain you guys exactly what I did. So um, maybe I will do some live screens uh, between that where, where I code all those stuff and yeah, so basically um so you guys won't get confused at all <laughs> um, um i'm recording everything what i've done uh, explain you everything and then i will upload um the project files on my github page and so you can download it for free of course and um, have fun with it so um i also have created a discord channel the link is in the description and you can also like my facebook page and so we can basically write on real time i can answer your questions about my server and yeah i hope you guys have fun and enjoy the video so um for today's video um i did set up a lot of things basically um we can connect to a mysql database the player can connect um um, to the server and actually the player spawns on a spawn point so um to to show you what i have done um i i'm going to start the server at first as you can see um the connection to the mysql server was successfully and this um, server has successfully started and then once i um, start the game as you will see um incoming connection from uh, my IP address of course the local IP address uh, currently and our index so um, our spawn point wait a second we have a major problem here already um, we need characters first person prefab or oh, third person we are using um, the currently we are using the um, um, standard assets from Unity. Um, we go like this, and then we will add the camera on that. There you go. All right. Um, apply. Okay. So um, what I have done is um, when I press start, I I'm going to connect to the server, and once I'm connected to the server, um, I'm getting an index. I'm player one and then i get spawned into the world so as you can see on our spawn point our player got spawned then i can uh, move in the world so um and what you see on the server uh, incoming connection like my ip address um, currently local and then our index um when we um open a second client i will show you that there oops i jumped off again there you go let's let's uh let's turn okay um i connect with a second client boom as you can see the second client got spawned it's a little bit buggy of course and um our second player got loaded up into the server and as you can see in the inspector in the hierarchy of course player two and player one and um, that's what i have done so far so basically the the um the players the online players 
will get spawned over the network and um, yeah that's it and um, how did I do that so basically I'm starting with the server um, first of all I create a new thread of the server so it listens and then um, I'm going to I initialize the whole stuff so um, first of all I'm going to connect to the MySQL database as you can see here um, the MySQL database is really important because you are um, saving every player data and every item, every NPC, every value you store into this um, uh, MySQL database. For that, you have to connect, you have to download XAMPP, a MySQL um, ODBC driver, um, you have to um, download and install Navicard for the, um, for the database itself. And then you need to set up everything. But um, for that, I'm going to do a separate tutorial to go into this and how to install and how to create your own database. And but I'm also pretty sure there are multiple tutorials out there on YouTube um, <laughs> how you install those software like XAMPP and uh, the MySQL ODBC driver and of course Navicat. Yeah, um, once the MySQL connection is um, has successfully started um, I'm going to initialize the game data what I'm going to do so um, I have created a, a client class which um, stores the networking data um, from the player so as you can see the index the IP address the TCP socket and all kinds of stuff and with this we can send data between the server and the client and the client and the server so um, once you for, for example when you want to pick up a sword from the ground into your inventory and um, you actually send a request from the client to the server if the sword actually exists and once um, the sword actually exists the server handles everything stores the data into the database saves it and you got the SWOT in your inventory even when you log off and log on again so that's basically um, yeah that's basically it from the um, um, networking part like um, for example um, I start at the top so when a, when a new client um, is connecting to the server um, we are creating a new instance of this client and I'm um, starting to listen to his stream. So um, that means when the server, when the client wants to send data to the server, like um, I don't know, level up or any any kind of this, then we are receiving the data, and then we are checking everything if everything is correct, if the player is still online, and all kinds of stuff. And once that happened, um, we are handle the data the the, the player sent to the server. For example, also um, when you type something into the chat, um, it gets sent to the server and the server sends it to the rest of the people out there. Yeah, um, how do we handle the data? That's basically pretty simple. Um, it may look a little bit hard for you, but actually it is pretty simple. So we are creating a new dictionary, right? And we add our network packets into it. So for example, um, I didn't add any packet right now because we are not sending any data between the server and the client, uh, between the client and the server. We are just sending um, data from the server to the client, like we are um, instantiating the player prefab um, from the server to the client. So um, I will show you that. For that, I have created a new um, um, class called it Network Send Data, and with that, we are sending the data through um, the client we have created. Um, we are sending it to the client. So um, I did um, set up multiple stuff: send it to a specific client, send it to everyone who's online, and send it. Um, to everyone but one player and then I have created um, th uh, three types I actually um, did a tutorial on my earlier videos where I cover up all those stuff with the KMAC games DLL and on all that stuff um, I recommend you to 
to um, watch this um, so you um, get used to what I'm doing. So, um, so basically when the client connects to the server, right, um, we, we are checking if, if everything is correct and then we are sending data back to the client so he can join the world. So with that we are sending the player his index which uh, he needs so he knows which player he is and then we um, instantiate the player in the world so we are sending another packet and with that we are sending everything to um, to every other client out there in the world and then we are trying to get the other players to our client so basically um, I know it's confusing but uh, I try to explain the best as I can so um, um, basically when 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 the player connects to the world or get gets gets into the world of course you want to see the other players that's why you request all information from the players on the server and you get every data and um, you can see the other players right so basically it's um, your client is only like a TV right um, the, 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 the <laughs> I know it's a bad example but um, I try my best to explain you guys and um, yeah the, the, the client only is a TV the, the, the client only shows what happens on the server basically that's that's it the, um, the server is the receiver or the cable TV whatever and the uh, um, the, the, the client is the monitor, the uh, television. Yeah, and basically that's it for spawning the player into the world wh once you get connected. Um, I also did some other stuff like uh, f at first we need to populate the clients. So we have 100 clients. Um, so 100 people actually can connect. And then once there is a free slot, um, on the server then the, the the player who wants to connect to the server gets this slot and then he has his index and it's pretty complicated in first place but um, I hope you guys understand it a little bit I don't know as I, as I already said you can join our this or my discord server and ask me more questions there I try to answer as soon as I can of course and yeah um also, I have created a class called global, so um, I cover up there all instances of my um, scripts, so I can access the script from another script. And um, yeah, that's basically it. I already created the database um, class as well, but um, it's not used because um, later on we are creating a registration, a login, and all kinds of stuff, and that we are doing in the database server. Um, yeah, I think that's it for now. Um, in the second video, um, I will talk more or I will show you more about the registration stuff, um, how, how you can move the player around, how you can see other players moving around the world. And, um, yeah, that's, that's what we are going to do. Um, this video is just, uh, an information video what we are going to do like as i already said at the beginning we are cover up every topic which is um, online related so inventory trading uh, attacking and uh, all all that self registration and uh, creating an account loading an account and creating npcs and um yeah um i hope you guys um will like this tutorial series because at the end of the series we have our own server like you can um, you can have as many players as you want on your server it is your own server and yeah you you are free to do anything you want like um, it's it's mind-blowing right you don't have to pay for it like it's it is it is your own so um with that said, I hope you are as hyped as I am and we guys see us in um, the next video. Bye and have fun.